Hi, I'm Aaron Nelson with Stillwell. We're going to go through the process of plumbing the dual hydraulic jacks with the cube on this gooseneck. The retract port gets a straight adapter. Screw the adapter in. Tighten it down. Keep in mind, snug is tight, tight is broken when it comes to adapters. On the bottom, there is extend on one side, retract on the other, and you'll want to make sure when you're installing your adapters that you have them facing out. Again, snug is tight, tight is broken. Now once you have the adapters in place, run the tightening nuts down to the washer. and snug them up. Next thing we'll do is we'll pull the plugs, port plugs, out of the jack. We're going to install the 90 degree adapters into the jack. Each jack gets two adapters and we'll install three eighths inch hydraulic hoses to each jack after the adapters are installed. Now we're going to install the 3 8 inch hydraulic hoses to our cube manifold. I recommend starting the installation with the extend lines from the pump to the cube and then from the jack to the cube to make sure that you don't get your lines crossed in the process. On the cube it has extend and retract so you know which hoses go to which port. If we're doing the extend currently, we'll go to the extend ports. To help you notate which lines, hydraulic lines, are extend and retract from your jack, each port is stamped with an R for retract and an E for extend so that you know which lines go to where. And for this particular trailer, the cube will be mounted under the toolbox using these quarter inch mounting holes on the cube. When installing the battery cables, you'll notice on the pump that each one of the terminals up front is marked black for negative, red for positive. You want to hook your negative to negative, positive to positive. When installing this, the same battery cables from the pump 
to the battery, ensure that the red battery cable goes to positive and the black goes to negative. Now that we have the battery cables hooked up to the pump, we are now getting ready to fill the reservoir and bleed the system with hydraulic fluid. We recommend automatic transmission fluid, Dextron 3, as the fluid for this system. When you fill the system with ATF fluid, you'll wanna make sure that you do not extend past the max fill line on the side of the reservoir. Now that we've filled the reservoir, we're gonna be beginning the bleeding procedure. The bleeding procedure is extending the jack a quarter of the way, retracting it, extending it back to halfway, retracting it all the way back up, extending it to three quarters stroke, and then back up to full retract, and then full extension. But at full extension, you wanna hold the button for about two to three seconds, and at each step, when you retract it, you wanna hold the button at full retract for a few seconds as well. When you're extending the jacks in the bleeding process, you wanna make sure you keep an eye on the fluid level so that you don't run the tank low and, and pump air into the system. Now my fluid level is low enough to where I'm going to fill it back up with fluid again. And a full retract, we will hold the button again for approximately two seconds. Now we'll extend it halfway. Again, holding the button at full extension. Now we'll retract it all the way and we'll check our fluid. Now that the bleeding procedure is complete, we can now put the cover on the power unit. That's the process of installing dual Atlas hydraulic jacks on this gooseneck trailer with the Cube. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or you can visit our website at stillwellinc.com.